help you? No, but maybe I can help you. Excuse me? I'm LaMarcus's mother. You remember me? Oh, yeah, LaMarcus, Miss Carmichael. So, how is he? Recovering. My son is lucky. I'm glad my son is alive. But what are you gonna tell the next parent when they're not so lucky? Ma'am, I know you're upset, but we are taking care of the matter. How? I researched this school. There were 200 incidents this year. Have you solved any of them? <laughs> Ma'am, with all due respect, our staff is highly visible in the school. I mean, we walk the halls, the playground, the bus stop, the cafeteria, and the classrooms every day. I'll look into it. My son almost died. What you mean you're gonna look into it? Ma'am, please understand that investigating bullying allegations is a time-consuming process. Time? We don't have time. Mr. Hightower, kids are dying. Let me tell you something. Time, it waits for no one. Yeah, I'll meet you there in 10 minutes. Carl, did you tell Mrs. Carmichael, who almost lost her child, that you would look into it? You know how many complaints I have to investigate? Yeah, but this one has been reported several times. What is the hold up? They're filed away until we can get to them. What is your plan? Are you gonna change the market schedule? Are you gonna make Kyle step down from the step team? And what about providing mentors? Remember, the goal is to protect the children. You don't think I know that? My hands are tied. Kyle was removed from the premises. His dad just came and picked him up. Ms. Walker, bring me every single report on bullying incidents from the past two years. I don't care. Find them. Thank you. Good enough? It's a story. We both need help. Let's go. Hey, Matt, you're doing the right thing, man. We'll be fine. I promise you. You guys look great. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Mr. Hightower.